Your work is greatly Dead man, you there? Little help. Okay, Sam. Remove the pod and connect it to that incubator. In. Good. Uh, a temporary excess of stress. Easily addressed if we return it to its mother's womb. Mother? Uh, located in the capital not city ICU. Brain dead, of course. Ah, you mean still mother? Correct. A still mother's womb facilitates a connection between the world of the dead and the BB. And you, in turn, Connect yourself to a BB, granting you the ability to sense BTs. These pods were designed to simulate the conditions inside a still mother's womb. BBs need to believe they're in one at all times to function properly. However, we can only maintain this deception for so long, which is why we must periodically update the environmental data by synchronizing it with a still mother via the chiral network. There. The update is in progress. Right now the pod is synchronizing with the still mother in Capital Knot City and reconfiguring its settings based on the latest data. Returning your BB to the womb in this manner will temporarily reduce its stress levels. That being where it technically belongs, of course. Kid looks happy. I'll try adjusting the oxytocin dosage. Autotoxemia should set in much slower from now on. You should remember that BBs are just equipment. Try not to get attached. Each one has been physically removed from its steel mother's womb. A process that renders them unpredictable and prone to failure. No BB on record has remained in service for over a year. It may need to be retired before this expedition is over. And then? You're saying there's no way to keep my BB alive? Uh, you must understand. There is still a great deal we don't know about BBs. As we expand the chiral network and recover more past data, perhaps we'll find our answers. Uh, oh, right. You asked me to look into why the BTs might be reacting to your blood. I spoke with Hartman. We should have your results soon. Anyway, get some rest. You and your BB are both exhausted. <sighs> Good night, Sam. chained up. Still can't leave. But if you can keep making connections, if you can get to me, we can go back east, back home. 
thank you. I mean that. It's bad. There are fewer and fewer people in the cities these days. No one's having children anymore. But humans aren't made for living alone. They're supposed to come together, to help one another. And if we as a people can't do that, if we can't reconnect, then, well, it's like Bridget said, extinction. Come on. Rebuilding America isn't gonna get rid of the BTs. As long as they're still around, there's no escaping it. But at least we'll have hope. I'll be waiting, Sam. Waiting for you. Come and find me. Hello, Sam. This is Hartman. Since you're awake, it might behoove you to freshen up. To that end, why not take a shower? It's good for the body and soul, and also my research, as it happens. Sam, this is Hartman. Dead man will let your request to me. And I oversee DT research. I'll be taking a sample of your shower water in order to study the effects your bodily fluids might have on a BT. Study other people with dooms? Everyone in Bridges, myself and Mama. Results thus far are inconclusive. But you possess other singular qualities, being a repatriate as well. I must confess to a measure of Optimism. Processing fluids. Waste products. Dry relic. Dispensing. There. Take the sample with you. Should the opportunity arise, try using it on a BT. I'm curious to see how they react. Who knows? It may even prove beneficial to you. There was an old research paper detailing the effects of bodily fluids from individuals like us on BTs. It is only by recovering these materials that we can unearth the knowledge of the past. Not just the Death Stranding, but also the mystery of your body's unique properties and even our doom's affliction. There may well be hope for humanity. Sam, I have no interest in rebuilding America. I want to recover the past. Five, oh, four, it's almost three, time. Two, one. After you make your connections and nothing happens, then what? I said, then what? Sam. Sorry to bother you while you're taking a break, but I figured you'd want to hear this. Hell, maybe it'll help you rest easier. We received a number of messages addressed to you. Now, I've not taken a look myself, but I gather they're mostly from your clients. You should see if they contain any useful information. Mail can be accessed via your cufflinks, as well as the terminal in your private room. There's something else I'd like to share with you. With the Cairo network, we now have the power to reclaim our past. Data once thought lost forever from every corner of America can be pieced back together from fragmented records. Our archives are still a work in progress, of course. But as we expand the network and integrate more way stations and cities, we'll be able to recover more and more information, such as the previous expedition's logs and reports. Everything they sent back was lost when Central Knot City was destroyed. Now, we've managed to restore some already, in fact. 
You can access them from a private room terminal or your cufflinks by selecting Archives. Might make for interesting reading. Sam, we've received a distress call from the Distro Center staff. Check the order on the delivery terminal as soon as you're ready. Something I forgot to tell you. It's about managing your BB's stress levels and reducing the risk 
of autotoxemic attacks, there are a few things you can do if your BB starts showing signs of distress. Such as? Such as take a moment to look after it. Cradle the pot, gently rock it, that sort of thing. Out of curiosity, how's it doing at the moment? Uh, before I answer that... Something wrong? When I hook up my BB, I see things. What kind of things? Like a face, someone I don't know, calling to me. There's this room, too. With other people talking, but I can't make out the words. Mm, bleed through effect. Didn't I warn you about this? You're mistaking the BB's memories for your own. They're false flashbacks, nothing more. Let me explain. A BB is harvested from its steel mother at around 28 weeks and placed in a pod. To be clear, this is before it's even born. The procedure halts its development. But even at 28 weeks, its sensory systems have matured enough to process external stimuli. It is more than capable of encoding this information into memories, which can bleed into yours via your connection. So who's the man I saw? Someone from the medical team, maybe? Or a BB technician? Does it matter? The BB has been in circulation for a while now. It's been handled by a lot of people. How should I know which one made an impression? Because you're the expert. No one's an expert, Sam. BBs were developed decades ago in secret. They're your quintessential black boxes. We may use them, but we don't truly understand them. Believe me, I've been trying to learn more, but almost all of the old records are gone. If I find anything out, I'll tell you, all right? Dead man's honor. While you're arresting, I ran some network diagnostics. Corellium monitoring and holographic systems are nominal. Unfortunately, our printer is offline. I know, I know, after all the trouble you went through to bring us those materials. This one's on us. We ordered a part a while back, but it never arrived. The printer needs it to communicate with the chiral network. Mules must have snatched it, caught that porter en route or something. If I'm right, they'll have taken it to their drop site, which is smack dab in the middle of their territory. Don't suppose you'd be up for stealing us our property back? Can't think of anyone more qualified than you. Mama's added a watchtower schematic to your PCC. If you don't have it on you, consider fabricating one. You never know when you'll need to recon an area. suggests it provides secure storage for any crystals you gather. Uh, 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 allow me to describe your quarry. Chiral crystals appear gold to the naked eye and are frequently found in formations resembling human handprints. The surrounding rocks and debris tend to float a few feet above the ground. And they are most commonly found in areas with high precipitation. Got all that? Hmm? Rain, floating rocks, golden handprints. That's your trifecta. Look for these three things and you'll find the crystals. If you've been especially observant, then perhaps you already know where to look. Order assigned. Pleasant 
turn. Keep on keeping up. Stay the traps. Weapons restrictions lifted. Sam, Cairo crystals are pretty small and can be difficult to spot with the naked eye. I'd advise you to use your ultra deck to point you in the right direction. If you want to survey a wider area, though, you might consider building a watchtower and relying on its sensors. Crystals for us? These crystals only form in places with elevated carillion levels, which makes me wonder if expanding the network had something to do with it. Not a bad haul. Plenty enough for research. We'll take good care of it. Excess Cairo crystals can be deposited at any facility. They'll be added to the stores held on site. These local stores include materials that you can draw upon to fabricate equipment as needed. Good work, Sam. It seems your connection level is increasing. As your connection level increases, larger quantities of resources will be made available to you at our facilities. Container repair spray for patching up cargo containers. Good for dealing with time fall degradation and all that. Useful stuff if you and your cargo have been through the ringer. We've added it to your supplies list, so it's readily available if and when you need it. There's a correlation between elevated Corellium levels and increased crystal formation. This may well be the result of the network's expansion. You needn't worry though, local chiral density is still within an acceptable range. If you find any more, be sure to collect it. You'll be well rewarded. If you come into more chiral crystals, you can submit them at one of our facilities. And you can deposit other resources too, along with any items you don't need. 
Everything has its value. What we don't use as is can be broken down into components for R&D and other applications. Beginning scan. Have a pleasant journey. Still got work to do, Sam. Let's not keep people waiting. Weapons restrictions lifted. Beginning scan. Scanning bridges ID. Verifying ID. Clear. All weapons weapons restrictions lifted. Call it a rule or a habit, but most mules almost always bring stolen shipments home with them. Find the post box, steal back the cargo. Simple as that. But be careful, these guys are armed. If this goes sideways, be ready to fight. Remember, Sam, before you approach the mule drop site, we recommend you use a watchtower to confirm the location of the post box containing our cargo. I'm right here. I'm right here. Your drop sites are rarely deserted, so remaining undetected is key. Keep a low profile and move slowly to minimize noise.
sent. Grab the cargo and get the hell out of there. Shoes holding up. Not too well, I imagine, conditions being what they are out there. Nothing ruins your day like shoes falling apart while you're on the job. Carry on like that, and it's only a matter of time before you injure yourself. I've arranged for boots to be added to your supplies. Bridges standard issue, so they ought to fit you fine. You should always carry an extra pair. But if you forget or run into trouble, you can fabricate another via a terminal at one of our many facilities. Of what I learned. You have my word. 
bridge schematic to your PCC. The first step is laying the foundation, after which you'll have to supply additional materials to finish the job. Plenty of rivers and canyons could do with a good bridge, you know. Take a stroll across one you built yourself, and I guarantee you'll be glad you made the effort. Give it a try. Pleasant journey. Okay, Sam. Make your way to the designated construction area for the bridge. The foundation should already be in place. With your help, we'll have the thing finished in no time. There should be a terminal nearby. Access it to submit additional materials. Weapons restrictions lifted. it to submit additional material. <laughs> easier for a lot of people. You can be sure that every traveler and porter who passes that way will put it to good use.
There we go.
was about to drop. Delivering cargo. Thank you. With this unit, we should be able to power the distro center via the chiral network. Other places too, if it works. Here's hoping the UCA can put our electricity to good use. Mind if I have a look? Great. Everything's in order. I appreciate it. Now's a connection to the chiral network. Go for it. is a limited resource and every structure you build consumes it. However, as you increase your connection level, the bandwidth available to you will increase as well. again. You know, I heard the rest of your team was wiped out. Makes what you're doing all the more incredible. You're a one-man expedition. I hope Amelie's doing as well as you. Wonder if she made it to Edgenot City yet. It was her that put us in charge of the wind. 